So as I bring these big pieces of wood from the forest, I'm going to stack them somewhere. I'm not going to be able to uh, cut them into uh, small sections right away. So I'm going to use uh, some of these old pallets that I had from the furniture build to keep the wood off the ground. And I'm just going to use these two trees and get my wood stack going there. And as the winter goes on, I'm going to harvest wood from the forest, bring it back here, eventually debark it and cut it into smaller sections once I get my uh, saw bucks made up. So I can use any size diameter logs that I want in my wall. It's totally up to me and you have to look at it like from an aesthetic point of view, what do you like? What's Everyone has different tastes. And another thing is um, the bigger the log that I use, so if I want to use like an 18 inch diameter round, um, the risk of expansion and contraction is, is bigger. So there's two ways of looking at that. Once the mortar's done, you have this wall that's uh, cemented in. If it shrinks, then you have a gap in the cement, which is not the end of the world. But if the uh, if the wood is really dry, 
and then it gets wet and it actually expands, you're looking at it can crack the mortar and, and uh, do a lot of damage to the wall. So those are all the factors that I will get into during the build, and we have a long way to go before I get into that. I just want to talk about it now. So I have all these small pieces of wood, um, and the reality is I'll go through it and I'll cut it into sections, eight in sections eventually. And whatever I don't use, I'm going to use for firewood, right? So I just got to drag it out here. So again, part of the deal when I was uh, making arrangements with the tree removal companies is, you know, I'm gonna take whatever they want, right? They don't wanna have to shred it or uh, throw the chipper, cut it up. So some of the stuff really, you know, honestly isn't that great for what I'm going to use it for. Um, but uh, you don't know until I get it out here. And again, living out here, I always need the firewoods. So. This stuff is definitely firewood. This is already split. It's a nice piece of cedar. So I'll be able to get quite a few sections from this. Last video, everyone thought uh, Ridge was my favorite. He's just, he's a male, a little more aggressive, the alpha. This is Scout, she's older, but he's uh, he's an attention hog, right? So, he doesn't like it when she's getting petted. <laughs> Get out of here, come on. He just likes to push her around. He's the little brother. Though. They're the same, uh, same parents, just a breed apart, or a year, just about a year apart. They're uh, Hungarian, uh, Hungarian Vishlas, Hungarian Retrievers, Vishlas, if you're wondering. Quite frankly, I just hope that I haven't overestimated this or underestimated this and how much uh, wood I'm going to actually need for this cordwood cabin. Um, you know, a three foot, uh, three foot section is going to get me uh, almost four pieces. I'll have to be careful when I cut it at the truck so I don't waste any, uh, you know, end up with a six foot or six inch section of uh, wood that I could have used for the uh, cabin wall, right? Getting out here and getting the supplies, it's been a little, um, eye-opening getting the uh, wood out here it's uh <laughs> it's to, it's taking a lot of energy for me so um what i've done is i plan to get wood from the area down trees trees that have toppled over and uh, i've walked the area and there's lots of down trees that i can harvest basically recycle the forest and drag my cart out there saw them up in the pieces bring them back to the cabin site i've also contacted um, tree removal companies in my area where i live and basically I've given them my number and I'm on call. So if they get some trees that uh, they don't deem um, worthy of firewood, basically around here it's poplars and what you might call cottonwoods or quaking aspens, uh, depending on where you're from. 
but or junk maple is what they call them. Um, instead of splitting them up and cutting them into pieces or whatever, uh, I've offered to come get them from the sites and I've made a few trips with my pickup truck, gone down there, kind of into manageable pieces, which are these, dragged them out here, and now I'm going to have to uh, debark them, kind of go through them, find what sections are nice and um, appropriate for the cordwood. My uh, walls are going to be eight inches wide, so I can uh, get quite a few pieces from these sections here. So I just don't know how much I'm going to need. I've got a lot of comments from the last video about the size of the cabin. And um, ideally, uh, yeah, maybe I could build it a little bigger, but it's very important for me to be able to manage the build, um, the timbers, the, the actual dragging this wood out here is uh, exhausting. I can't tell you enough that I wish I had an ATV behind the camera here and, and, uh, and a big trailer and I could haul this out here, but I really am hauling that, uh, the wood in that cart that I built and for my truck. So it's, um, it's a long haul back here. I don't want to, um, I can't afford to build a road or that sort of thing. And I don't have the money to build, uh, to buy an ATV and pull it back here. So um, part of the appeal for this is just the re relaxation and hard work to do it will make it that much more rewarding for me. So um, whether it be a year from now or whenever I get this done, I'll look at that cabin and know that everything was done um, by hand, hauling it out here, uh, hand tools. It'll, it'll be uh, it'll be quite an accomplishment that I'll be very proud of, but uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of work to do before I get to that point. So I hope you uh, enjoy this. Uh, subscribe if you already haven't done so. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a long haul. Hopefully I'll get videos out every two weeks. Um, we'll see. Don't really know, to be honest with you. I know I'm getting tired now, so I'm gonna probably uh, get in the tent, clean up all my gear, get it organized, and then maybe make some dinner. Maybe even have a beer and call it a night. Cool, guys.
The weather's been really weird. This time of year, it's normally consistently cold. We're getting a day where it drops down to minus 10 and it's supposed to get up to, it's supposed to get up to eight degrees Celsius today. All the snow's gone. And then a couple days from now, snow and minus temperatures again. So it's warm today. So I have a lot of pieces this size that might uh, be a little too small to use for the cordwood. Uh, I can fit them in on smaller places uh, once I start doing the wall, but I have some things I have to build. So some of these smaller ones, uh, I might debark them and use them for some of the uh, stuff that I need, kind of tools I need around here for uh, sawhorses and that sort of thing. So stuff like this might be uh, useful for that. I'm just going to stack it up. I just, I got to get this wood back here stacked up and uh, now I'm going to go from there. Definitely warming up. Got a few more loads of wood to get here for today. I start thinking about making dinner. And by looking at this wood, you can see how just about anybody can get the supplies to build a cordwood log cabin. This is, you might call junk wood, right? It doesn't have to be these 16 foot perfectly straight spruce trees that you gotta drag out to the site. These are all manageable hand bombing them out here and I'll be able to get quite a few pieces from you know a three four foot section of log here so it's coming along
Well, I got these five timbers from my wife's uh, Uncle Randy. He came with us on the Wabakimi trip, me and Griff. And uh, he's got some old barns and stuff, and he thought I could use these for the cabin. So I, I dragged him out here, and I'll put them to use somehow. I'm not sure exactly how yet, but the whole idea, I'm out of breath here carrying these things. The whole idea about this is to, to build things with recycled material, and for free, ideally. So uh, it didn't cost me anything except getting it out here. Okay guys, this is going to wrap up this video. Moving all this wood, those five timbers, um, has pretty much wiped me out. And uh, I got to pace myself. This is obviously going to be a marathon, not a sprint. Um, again, if I get this done in a year, um, to me that would be optimistic. So all this wood behind me, I've dragged out here with my cart. I have to take all the bark off every piece of this wood, go through it, cut it into the appropriate sections, restack it, I let it season. Still got foundations to do, still got a, a lot of planning to do. So um, stay tuned, subscribe if you already haven't. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch this come up. It's a cordwood log cabin, if you're not familiar with it. And uh, it's gonna be an interesting, fun project. Uh, I'm really excited and I'd love to share it with you. So uh, thanks for watching, cheers.